So I was going to start this video off by doing the whole cabinet thing where I open the cabinet and I talk to the cabinet, but I felt like it might be a bit much. What's poppin' guys? I am John Barker. I am the award-winning pitmaster at Beach Bum Barbecue and the executive chef at Skull and Mortar. Today we've got a banger for you. I'm going to take the fight to Joshua Wiseman, Mr. Butt Better himself, and we are going to take Joshua Wiseman's brisket and we're going to butt better that bad boy. If you're looking to sip that proverbial tea while watching this video and see me trash Josh Wiseman's brisket, that's not what I'm here for today. What I want to do is make an honest assessment. How does his brisket compare to mine? He put his whole recipe out there and today we're going to make the recipe exactly like he did and I'm going to make my brisket. We're going to throw some blind taste tests in there and we are going to give you an honest answer. How does it stack up against an award winning pit master? Son, god dang it. Now we're going to start off with Joshua Wiseman's brisket. He doesn't trim his as aggressively as mine, so we're going to follow suit. The first thing we're going to do is remove this oxidized meat along the side. Now on this particular brisket, we got a pretty large chunk of fat here. It's not going to render out, so we're just going to get rid of it. Now a big difference between my brisket and Josh's brisket is he left a lot of this fat separating the point and the flat on there. So we're going to do the same. Now we're going to clean up some of the silver skin and some of these hunks of fat. I don't remember really seeing him do a whole lot of that, but I feel like it's just the right thing to do. Now he really made a point here to cut off a lot of this fat off the bottom. No biggie, we're going to do the same. Now in our brisket, we want more area to directly apply rub to. So we're going to go ahead and clean up all the fat and oxidation off the side of this thing. So we get a big straight side. Now we're going to clean up this fat vein here a lot more aggressively than we did on the other brisket. None of this fat is going to render. It's way too thick. It's way too hard. We want to get rid of as much fat and silver skin as possible off this top so we get that unadulterated surface area. And here is the difference between our trims. We got a much more rectangular one for us, a much more au natural for Joshua. Now we're gonna start with uh, rubbing Joshua's ear. He uses a mix of salt, pepper, onion powder, mustard powder, some other stuff. I linked his video below, check it out if you want all the details, but he rubs his a lot lighter than I would. So we're gonna do the same. We're gonna try and mimic that. Now he actually physically rubs his, so we're gonna do the same, but we're gonna make sure that we get all the exposed meat. Now we have an additional step in ours. We're going to go ahead and inject this. We're going to start with two cups of water and we're going to put a full tablespoon of beef base in there. Now I personally prefer beef base. I think that it has a deeper, richer beef flavor. It's basically beef broth concentrate. Now the next thing we're going to do is toss about a tablespoon of light soy sauce in there as well. It's going to also just add to that flavor profile. Deeper and richer, that's what we're going for. And last but not least, we're going to do another tablespoon this time of Worcestershire sauce. And now we're going to inject the meat. You want to inject it until it swells. If it starts squirting out, you definitely hit the mark and you want to go ahead and pull back. But keep moving around the meat, trying to distribute it as evenly as possible. And I have this weird like little flap of meat here. I'm kind of thinking about cutting it off. I haven't really decided yet at this point. Now in the interest of time, I'm going to skip forward a little bit. I've already rubbed the backside, but this little rub is a three layer process. First, we're going to hit it with that char griller chicken rub. I know it seems weird, but it's basically a really awesome all purpose rub and it's going to hit all that salt and pepper flavor that we want for a delicious brisket. I did decide to hate that flap of meat, so we're going to cut that off and use it for a brisket burger later. Now guys, we're all about layering flavors in our bark, so we're going to use some of that char griller sweet and spicy. It's going to give a little hint of sweet, but more importantly, it's going to layer those peppery notes. And finally, 
we're going to use that skull and mortar original barbecue rub and it's going to again just layer those peppery notes throughout it's got an ingredient in it too that's really going to help solidify that bark this my friend is the icing on the barbecue cake now guys both of our briskets are ready we're going to go ahead and get them on the smoker at 225 degrees we're going to let joshua wiseman's go to 155 which it is now and as you can tell that bark is looking pretty good i like the color of it it's got a good jiggle it's looking nice so far i'm holding out hope that it's going to be pretty dope we got a good fat jiggle now we're going to texas crutch it just like he does in the video using several layers of foil now once we're done we're going to throw it back on the smoker till it reaches an internal temperature of 198 degrees and here's our brisket also looking very premium and we got a little extra bark built up but we have lost some extra mass that the other brisket has not lost so uh, I like the jiggle here, I like the bark, but we're going to go ahead and add in a mop to our crutch. Now once we've adequately mopped, we are going to wrap it very heavily. Again, we got a lot of liquid in here, so we want to make sure that we get it tight. Now once it's wrapped, it goes back on the smoker until it hits 205 degrees internal. And here we got Joshua Wiseman's brisket. This thing is looking pretty good. I must say I'm impressed. It's a beautiful mahogany color. The bark looks nice. I'm looking forward to digging in. And it cuts just like butter. It is so smooth. There's no resistance. I'm feeling this for sure. It's, I mean, I'm very pleasantly surprised at this point. brisket again cuts through like butter the bark is a little more firm we really layered it in so that is to be expected and we can definitely see that mine's juicier so why do you why do you cut it sideways on the end piece there and then cut it the opposite direction because the grain switches see like you can see here the grain is going this way mm -hmm. but on this one the grain is going that way so you always want to cut with the or against the grain and now we got the bend test. First off, Joshua Wiseman's. It's got a nice bend to it. It's got a good flex and it pulls right apart with a little bit of resistance there. Perfect as far as tenderness goes. Now mine. Big thick piece here. Again, a great bend. And we're going to give it the pull. A little bit of resistance. Snaps right apart. I think that I can take the tenderness victory here. All right, first here we got Josh's. Uh, for the, the bark on it is great. Uh, I really didn't think the bark would turn out so well because he didn't use as much seasoning as I would. Um, it's got a good smoke ring on it. Uh, I'll take credit for that. Uh, it's got a great bend test as you saw. Let's give it a taste. It's all right. It's got a good beef flavor to it. Uh, it's a good brisket, um, but it's not a great brisket. I would probably throw a little sauce on here. Uh, I think that this is a perfectly acceptable brisket for most people. I think if I served it on my truck, it, it's it's not a it's not a twenty-two dollar a pound brisket, but it uh, it's good enough. It, uh, most people are going to be perfectly happy with this. Right, here's mine. You can tell it's a little fattier at the bottom. Let's get rid of that extra fat. I don't as, I don't trim my bottom as aggressively. Uh, you saw the bend test again. We got a great looking. Um, we got a great looking smoke ring here. Let's taste this one. I think mine has a deeper beef flavor. It's got a, a more peppery notes to it. It's got more flavors to it. Um, really, as far as moisture goes, they're about the same. And really, I mean, I'm gonna have to give it to myself. I win. I think that I win. But we'll see what my buddy Nate thinks. Nate doesn't get to be in front of the camera very often. He's my business partner here at Skull and Mortar, my BFF, and we're gonna bring in Nate and have Nate taste some of this brisket. All right, I'm gonna give you a fresh piece, Nate. We got two briskets here. Let's mop this in the juice a little bit. It's been sitting for a second. I don't want you to get it all busted. Nate does not know which brisket is which. He's going in completely blind. He could very well give Joshua Wiseman the trophy here and embarrass me in front of all of you guys 
who watch this video. I mean, I don't, it's gonna be the best brisket that's gonna win, right? Yeah, best brisket wins. I mean, you they're both it. looking phenomenal, so. No lies, all, all honest opinion. There's your brisket, sir. This is all I get, or? Well, you can have more later. All right. Got a, you need to cut that off? Yes. Yeah. Let's do a little trimmy, trimmy, trimmy. Yeah. All right. right. I thought you were gonna eat the fat for a minute. I, do, I mean, there's a lot of flavor probably in that fat. As my Uncle Scott would be all in on that fat. Chew the fat. All right, so it's tender. It looks good, right? Hmm. First impressions. Honest opinions. It's um beefy. It's real beefy. If you got that at a restaurant, would you be happy with your purchase? Yeah. No, it'd be it'd be just fine. Um, not the best brisket I've ever had. I'm hungry too, though. So this is this is helping a lot. But um, no, it's uh, it's a, it's a decent brisket. I'd say I don't know. One to five. Three. Three on a scale of one to yeah. five. Brisket A gets a three. All right. Here's brisket B. We're gonna go ahead and flip this around in the juice a little bit. Like I said, <laughs> it has been. I'm sick messing my mouth. Time. Don't do that. Don't be wasteful, all right? That's a sin. I don't plan on ever messing my mouth. I don't plan on messing it either. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. All right. All right. Brisket B. Whenever you're ready. Well, I'm still working on this. All right. What is that for a minute? I'm going to finish that. It's still good. Feels a little different. Actually, I think that one's a little more tender. Um, Mmm. So there's a there's definitely flavor in there. And taste the rub. That one was more of just beef. Yeah. So, so with on A you taste more beef. On B you taste a variety there's, of flavors. There's salt and yeah, you can taste you can taste the rub. It's got a good If you got that at a restaurant, mm. how would you feel about it? I'd be pretty happy about it. Yeah? Scale mm. one to five. Ah, two and a half. No. Two um, and a half. Um, Brisket B gets a two and a half. No, just kidding. Right. No, I, this one tastes very familiar. Oh, you feel like you've had it before. I feel like I've had this before. I don't know where, but um, now it's a five star right there. Five star? I know whose that is. And so, that's a five star. So his opinion may be a little biased, but I'm also going to get it. Hey, listen. We could get a little squirt in here, too. Oh my god. Hey, you want to you taste test? Little squirt does not know which one is which. Why are you calling me Lil Squirt? Lil Squirt right. doesn't know which one's which. All right, here is your first taste of brisket. Get in there. Get some brisket, dog. Get off of this piece. Pretty good. Scale of one to five. Five. A five. Whoa. You guys already know that he will trash everything that I make on the channel, <laughs> even if it's gourmet level food. All right, this is, the, this is the other brisket. This is brisket A. Give it a try. Brisket A or brisket B? Brisket B, there you go. Three to one, guys. Slam dunking on Joshua Wiseman. This is my brisket, brisket B. Now, there are definitely some great things about Josh's brisket. Go ahead and walk in front of the camera, sir. And if you are looking to make an easy at-home brisket without a bunch of steps, brisket A will get the job done. Joshua Wiseman's brisket. If you're looking for that next level brisket, if you're trying to charge $22 a pound on your food truck, you need to step your game up a little bit and hit those extra steps. I appreciate you guys checking in. And again, all love and respect to Joshua Wiseman. He's a great chef. I got his video link below. Check him out. Also, you can now get your membership below. It's $2.99 a month. You will get a shout out in the videos. Check out skullandmortar.com.